God gave authority to Jesus Hashem, Christ, Hashem, 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 which means Hashem, the this king here is the God. Hashem, this is a very simple point. I think you are being pedantic here. Please carry on with the fifth point. Go on. Of course it is. That's why I'm doing it. I make my points. Simple. Okay, carry on. Simple. Yes, it's simple, of course. And I'm sure the audience have understood it as well. In this example, yeah, you have two kings. You have two kings, I agree. Go on. In this example, yeah. if I said he is a king, regardless of whether there are two or three or four or five, you better respect him exactly in the way you respect me. You better do it. The topic is not about respect. The topic is about who gives authority to whom. I don't it, was know. Never, it was never about who would respect. Don't Arun, argue. Arun. Just do I think, have, I, I I think you have not even realized why you brought up this analogy, do you? It, means it wasn't about respect. It, it was about who is giving whom the authority. Yeah, and you clearly said the king gives authority to other kings to, come to become in. a god. Let's just I'm imagine this. To, to you walk into the, the court. The reason of the day, what My did Jesus friend. say? Read yeah. it from the beginning. Yeah. To we, the we are going one point at a time. Let's make this uh, pretty simple. Yeah. Can you finish that, John no, 5? Uh, I'm going to. Because you have you missed out the crucial point. When Jesus says, I by myself can do nothing, Absolutely. as I hear, I obey. But you always like to miss, just like the way you skip John 17, 3, which completely goes against your faith, because Jesus himself destroys the Trinity when he says the only true God is the Father. But carry on. And by the way, I still got you in mind the two points you made about Jesus and the Father being equal in judgment, being able to raise the dead. And what was the other one? Do you remember? So we ask in terms of authority to judge, and now I'm moving. Yeah, yeah. The, I already said judgment and rising from dead. But carry on. Jesus says he's been given authority. Very important. By God. By his God. Okay, guys, guys, let him finish now. Come on. Do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming in which all who are in the graves will hear his voice and come forth. Those who have done good. To the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation so we are already talking about resurrection yeah who is the person who people are going to hear to come back alive According to Jesus, who is this person? I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm the same topic. Jesus. Yeah, same topic. So when you wake Ask up, him about John 5 30. When you wake up after you are dead. To stand in front of the judge, behold, it's going to be Jesus. And behold, it is because of his very voice and the power in his voice, you would have even come back alive, even for judgment. And then he goes on, Wait I cannot 30. myself do nothing. Where does As the power I hear, be? I judge, but my, my judgment is righteous. My judgment is righteous i'm not going to ask what the father thinks yeah. i'm not going to ask what the holy spirit of god thinks i am going to judge and my judgment is righteous because i do not seek my own will exactly the will of the father who sent me thank exactly thank you what exactly he stops there there is no and what exactly exactly here meaning he is doing, he's submitting to whose will? No, no, no. You are using a term submit. <laughs> Stick to the statement. Okay. What well, Jesus is Jesus saying? So Jesus is saying he's not doing his will. But the will of the Father. That means, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait. Remember earlier you said, Jesus does what he wants. Jesus, nobody tells him to be risen from the dead. He raises himself. He said that. But now Jesus is telling you what? He's not doing his will. What is he saying? But he's come to do the will of the Father who sent him. No, no, no. Yes. No? No. no, no, no. What then? No, that's not what Listen saying. carefully. Yes, go on. I'm listening. Yeah. What does Jesus say? I don't do my will. I do not, not seek. seek my own will. Seek, same thing. Who is the one who is seeking? I, I am the one who is seeking. It is my will which is seeking. I am the no, one. No, he said, I do not seek my will. Let him finish. I do not seek my will. Let him finish. Oh, it's Peter. Go away, man. We don't want to hear you. Don't talk. Get away, Peter. You get away. Why are you here? Because I'm talking to him. I'm talking to him. If I, if I, what is the big difference? I seek. I do not seek. Christianity. If I ever said, yeah. I am not going to speak my own words, yes, I'm going to speak the words of my friend here, Which Jesus who is did the say. one who is speaking? Which Jesus did say. No, stick to the simple logic, please. If I ever said, yeah. I am not going to speak my own words, but I am going to speak the words of my friend here, who is the one who is speaking here? 
You, who is the one who is You're the one who's speaking. Well done. Which is the crucial. I'm shouting. Calm down. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> no, it's a shock. I got excited. Is it because Peter came here? It was a shock that you understood. <laughs> he has an effect on some people. You're right. He's and that's He's exactly scared. the crucial thing which you are missing. Which is? When Jesus says, I am seeking. Yeah. It is Jesus' will to seek the will of his father. Exactly. In other words, Jesus no is not... It's but I'm agreeing with you. No, no. I'm agreeing with you. Jesus is not saying, I haven't got a will. No, that's not what he is saying. I didn't say he didn't have a will. Never said that. Jesus is rather it's saying... It's an argument. I never said that. Jesus, I said he's doing the will of the father. That's all I said. Let me finish this and then you argue, please. Yeah. Jesus is saying, I've got a will and my will is to do through his will. Now, question. Ashim, you're married, aren't you? Yeah. So, when you are married, which you are right now, you go home to your beautiful wife, according to you, and you said, wonderful darling, I'd like to do what pleases you. Who is doing what? Who is doing that? I'm saying it. Purely when, when you say, yeah. I'd like to do what pleases you, Yes. Does that mean you are lesser than her by any chance? No, it was a choice. But no, no, stick to the question, please. Stick to the question, please. When you yes. decide out of your own volition to say, I am going to do what the what pleases my wife, do you suddenly, because of that decision alone, become less than your wife? Shall I respond? Yes. Shall please? I respond? Okay. Based on that argument where you no, say, no, no, but question, hold on, hold on. It is to do with the same topic. No, no, so answer. I will answer the way I want. Okay. Like you said, okay. you answer yourself. Yeah. You talk yourself. You use your own words. Yeah. I do the same. Yeah. Okay. So basically, you're saying that when Jesus says, I, I seek. Yeah. Sorry, which verse was that again? John 5. John, which one are you talking about? Which verse did you read? About, about seeking the, uh, the will, yes. 30. 530. John? 530. 530. Hold on. My version says something different. So which, which version are you reading? Is that the King James? Because mine is the NIV. It's completely different. What does it say? It says here, by, it says here, by myself I can do nothing. I judge only as I hear, and my judgment is just. For I seek not to please myself, but him who sent me. So you, you skipped that part, didn't you? That's, that's the one which is... But why did you skip that part? Yeah. Where he says, by myself, I can do nothing. Read the rest. Oh, read after, after, after. Did you read it? Okay. If you have read it, now listen to this. Imagine you go to your wife and you say, I by myself can do nothing. Yes? I myself can do nothing. And then you say further on, I judge only as I hear. Hear from whom? Most probably from your wife. Yes? And my judgment is just. Yes, so after hearing your wife, you say, my judgment is just. For I seek not my, for I seek not to please myself, but him who sent me. So who sent Jesus in this case? The Father, right? So who is the one when Jesus says, by myself, I can do nothing? Remember earlier you were bragging about all the authority he has. He can actually raise people from the dead. He is the one who gives, is given the judgment. After all that authority has been given to Jesus Christ, guess what? At the end he says, I by myself can do nothing, but I hear, but I by myself I can do nothing, I judge only as I hear, and my judgment is just, for I seek not to please myself, but him who sent me. So Jesus is not pleasing himself, yes, he's pleasing only whom? The one who sent him. And, and with regards to the two points you made about the judgment, you said only Jesus is the one who will be judging, not the Father. Let's look at another passage in the Bible which actually contradicts that completely. No, 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 I'm answering. You made a lot of points. Now it's my turn. Wait a minute. When he says, when he says one, no, it's 530. You, yeah, but we have to look at the holistic Bible, isn't it? No, no, stick to one passage. No, you can't tell me what passage I can. I'm actually going to contradict your statement about the Jesus being the judge or the judgment has been now given to Jesus Christ by the Father. Listen to this. On the day of judgment, you think only Jesus will judge? Are you sure about that? Maybe you should go home and read Matthew chapter 19, verse 28, where it says, Jesus said to them, who's them? Yes, the 12, uh, what is it? the 12 disciples. Truly I tell you, at the renewal of all things, when the Son of Man sits on his glorious throne, you who have followed me will also sit on the 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. 
Okay? So Jesus isn't doing the only judging, mate. It is also the 12 disciples will be judging. With regards to the Father, there's another passage in the Bible. 1 Peter 1.17. What does it say? God the Father judges too according to this. It says, since you call on the Father. Guys, 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 come on. One, one discussion, please. It says here, 1 Peter. Your name, Peter. What? You'll remember this, hopefully. 1 Peter 1.17. Since you call on a father who judges each person's work impartially, live out your time as foreigners here in reverent fear. So the father judges, the 12 disciples judge. It isn't only Jesus Christ. With regards to Jesus, given the authority to raise people from the dead, yes, read Acts 2.22. Yes, shall we go to there? Or oh, I'm sure you all know this I passage. See a verbal diarrhea there. Why? This is. I thought, by I the way, this is this is the seconds. Bible. If you're calling the Bible the verbal diarrhea, that's a blasphemy on you. Until about five minutes ago. No, I let you speak. I let you finish up to John 5:30, and now it is my turn to finish. No, no, I asked a question. And the question. No, but I have to. You you told me many points before that. Wait, wait, wait. I don't, I don't. You made a lot of points before that. I have the right to respond to them also, not only to John 5.30, where he says, Jesus says, by myself, I can do nothing. Imagine after giving all the authority, at the end he says, I can do nothing. As I hear, I judge. Very clear. Now, what does it say in Acts 2.22 with regards to all the power, all the miracle abilities that Jesus has been given? We shall see that as well, because Jesus, according to the Bible, clearly says that he was given authority. One thing, that, that passage which you read earlier, but in uh, Acts 2.22, what does it say here? It says here, fellow Israelites, listen to this. Yes, fellow Gentiles as well, I hope. Okay. Jesus of Nazareth was a man. Was a man. Was a man. Like the way you repeat three times. I know it's not an echo here, but I like to repeat like the way you do to emphasize the point. Jesus of Nazareth was a man accredited by God. Yes, to you by miracles, wonders and signs, which God did. Who did? Among you. So very clearly, what Jesus was telling you all along, that all this ability, by the way, as Muslims, we believe Jesus is the Messiah. We believe Jesus has the ability to raise the dead back to life. Why? Because based on the Quran and the Bible, as in Acts 2.22, he was a man given the authority and the accreditation by God. Which Where God does, say? which God does, Acts 2.22, Where which no. God Where? did among you through him. Where, where, according to that chapter of Acts, is Jesus today? Where? Oh, according now you're going to do another topic? Seriously? No, no, you're asking me where is Jesus today? That's another topic. This is what Christians do. You aren't even listening to my question. You said where, according to Acts chapter, is what Jesus chapter? today? Am I right? Which chapter? Which chapter? Acts 2, I'm reading. So the point is, you are reading one particular statement from a passage. Do you disagree with it? I don't. Good. God is a man today, and that is a pleasing thing for me, because as a man, when I show up in heaven, I'd be grateful to find God as a man. He is my friend in all manners, shapes, and forms. The book of Hebrews is extremely clear, and it says, the son became like me in all regards so that I could call him my brother and he could call me his brother. That's the privilege I have today. So, What is that proof? What? The point you just made, what is it proof? Precisely. Then you're telling me that your God became a human being like you, so he's able to now communicate with you. Is that what you're trying to say? I'm trying to clarify that what you mean. That specific point yes. does not clarify anything in relation to our disagreement. It does. Acts 2.22 does. The point I brought up clearly does. Because our Jesus is being Ashim, clearly shown as a man. Disagreement. Our disagreement, Ashim, yes, is what? not in saying Jesus is man. You say that, I say that, we agree. We don't have to argue. I'm not arguing about that point. No, which is what you're doing. I'm now. arguing about what you said, that Jesus was given X, Y, and Z authority. I'm showing you what does it mean in the context of the Bible. In Acts 2.22, Jesus is what? A man. man. Who was given authority by whom? By whom? By the Father. By God. He didn't say by the Father. Use the, wait a minute. Use the correct terminology used there. And wait, wait. And who does this wonders? This wonderful work and miracles, who does it? Who does it according to Acts 22? God does it through Jesus. Through him. God 
does those things through him. Now you can close your eyes, but the fact is still going to remain there. Unfortunately, Hashem, I'm yes. missing a very crucial theological point which you made your last couple of statements. Alhamdulillah, good. I don't know what that means. But Alhamdulillah means praise to God. You might as well say because that Because you worship a cow, that's why you're not under a cow. You might as well say that in English, we're speaking in English. Yes, I but don't you... know why you have to revert back to Arabic every now and then. By the way, would you say that to Jesus? Would you say that to Jesus when he was speaking here? If Jesus was speaking to you now, Yes, in English, Jesus. imagine he came there and he started saying something in Aramaic. Like he said on the, on the cross where he is, Ilahi, Ilahi, Lama Sabachthani. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Jesus, that? Jesus speak in English. Okay? No. Don't Jesus. speak because we are speaking English. The whole Bible is in English. Jesus. But they use the Aramaic term Jesus. over there because that is to show Jesus you. Jesus spoke in Aramaic in a land where people understood Aramaic. Exactly. Jesus spoke in Greek in a land where people understood exactly. Greek. Jesus spoke in Hebrew in a land where people understood exactly. Hebrew. Those were the common languages and those were what Jesus used. If Jesus were speaking to the first century, Jewish people in English, that would be a bit odd to me. Exactly. That's what you are doing. Can I make a point? No. I Why, not? Uh, Why not? Why not? Because I haven't. Is the Bible in English? You have to I'm holding now. Yes. Yes. If the Bible is in English, why does it use Aramaic statements sometimes? That's a very good question. I rest my case. Carry on now. Don't Carry on. Carry on. Here comes another clown. Can you Daniel. ask a question and don't listen for an answer? Actually, you gave your answer. You already gave your answer. You said in the land. I was, talking, I was talking about the book. And by the way, listen. If I said... By the way, you know the land that we live in? We can use any language. Not necessarily English. You can use Polish here. You can use Hindi here. You can use Greek here. In England, no one is telling you not to use another language. Oh, so oh, maybe oh, you're going by another by no means, constitution. By no means did I say do not speak in any other language. Actually, you did. That's not my you implied. Point. You said why don't you speak in English? No, my but point. I said Alhamdulillah. My point was no, you were speaking himself. to me, and I don't even know what that means. Arabic is a language which I haven't got a clue. Did I not tell you the meaning? And therefore, why in our a conversation, the necessity for the usage of that expression is not there, and I'm not sure why you did that. Was my only point. Doesn't matter. And if I explained to you the meaning. You see, there's no need to make a mountain you know of a molehill. I know English. Let's stick with English, please. Okay, good. Coming back to uh, what Jesus said. Yes. Peter. John 5:30. No, no. Well, now you brought up Peter, Acts, Acts chapter two. Yeah. So you began by. Oh, Acts 2:22. Yeah, Is that the one? Men of Israel, hear these words, Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested by God to you by miracles, words, signs, which God did through him. Which God did through him. Wait, uh, wait, listen, listen. Daniel, can you take a back seat? We don't want to listen to you. And then move on. Move the next statement. Yes. Move the next statement. When you finish your statement, move on to the next one. Move on to the no, next no, one. No, no, I'm still on John 17.3, by the way. You're the one who moved on to so many places. Remember I told you not to use the pogo stick all the time? John 17.3, you still haven't discussed. Peter went on to say precisely where Jesus... Don't need to shout, calm down. Tell him to shut up, then you can listen to everyone. Hashem, you're causing unnecessary... All I'm saying is not to shout, that's all. All that I'm saying is... I like it like that, calm. Yeah. Jesus is risen today, not dead, but came back alive. Peter uh, communicates that, number one. Number two, he goes on, that his soul would not, uh, was not left in Hades, nor did his flesh see corruption. And then it goes on to say, this Jesus God has raised up, of which we are all witnesses. Therefore, therefore, being exalted, you were, you know, earlier I was talking about me making him a king. Being exalted mm -hmm. to the right hand of God. Oh, right hand. Where, where, is, where is Jesus today? When you study the expression right hand of God, yeah. 
in the entire New Testament, in precise detail, you would actually find that there was only one throne, only one throne. And on that throne, that Jesus was sitting on the right hand side. Now, I made him a king and I not alone said, please respect him in exactly the way all of you respect me, but also said, he is going to sit with me on the same throne. Where does it say same throne? Where does it say same throne? And how many gods do we end yes, up? Yes, please do. And how many gods do we end up with? By the way, where are we going with this? I thought we were discussing John 17:3 and then John 5:30. Now he's going to the throne of God on the right hand side. Are you with it? You know, you know something. These are red herrings. These are red herrings, which has got nothing to do with the point. I by myself can do nothing. Can you please explain that? Read the rest. Okay, read I, the rest. I did. Read the rest. I did. Read the rest. I did. And John 5.30 is very clear. I by myself can do nothing. Okay? Take it out of context. John 5.30.